and 5 meter right now my load is at certain point okay my load is here which is of 80 kilo newton and which is moving from left to right this is the left direction this is the right direction okay left side right side so my load is moving from left to right so my first condition is to determine the maximum reaction always remember that this is my a this is my a point okay and this is my b point so reaction is always you can calculate at the support okay so first solution i am going to write over here okay so first maximum reaction okay so what you need to do you need you need to just draw the diagrammatic representation like this okay when you draw, draw the diagrammatic representation after that here remember that reaction always you can calculate on the supports so if you calculate the reaction at point a that means support um, support ra okay then your reaction like this okay wait my diagram my drawing is not good okay so this is my b point this is my a point so this is my ra reaction this is my rb reaction this is always one okay now you are thinking about why i draw this kind of diagram because remember this is your support okay when you are load at this point your diagram will be like this because there here is no any support so in that case your diagram is like this if the condition is ch changes if the load at b's point then your diagram like this okay so whenever there is a support reaction you need to draw the for different different load the diagram changes but yes for a point load the diagram makes a diagram look like this okay so here you can see the diagrammatic representation for the support due to the 80 kilo newton load is already drawn okay now how to calculate this value okay so we you know this is what the 80 kilo newton load acting over here at the point okay and now the this is what this is having the length of 15 meter so calculation for this at for ra point okay is always like this ra is nothing but equals to let me change the color so you can get uh, it to know properly so ra is nothing but equals to whatever your load multiply by the height height is always one okay so it's the load is 80 kilo newton multiply by height is a one okay so it is 80 so is your r is 80 kN similarly for rb is like this diagram will be like this okay load will be here 80 kN this is point b that means rb this is ra which is point a okay here zero okay so for rb is nothing but equal to similarly 80 okay multiply by 1 so it is like 80 kN so your r and rb is having the
the support rate so maximum reactions is always 80 kN remember this okay so you are getting the reactions at point uh, the a and at point b for a support is uh, 80 80 km so this diagram is actually known as the influence line diagram which is also called as a ild this is ild for ra this is ild for rb okay remember so this is what the one kind of the solution for this first maximum reaction now we are going to solve the another second topic one the second one is to identify the shear forces from 6 meter okay we are going to just solve the second one the shear force at 6 meter from the left okay so how we can solve this this is very simple now in my condition in my condition my the this is my 15 meter right so this is nearby the center one right so 6 meter i am just considering 6 meter here okay so 6 meter is here so i am giving the name as a a is equals to 6 meter and remember b it as a 9 meter okay so my this point okay so now remember one thing always now my point is like this my support reaction is like this so and my loading is applying at point here okay which is 80 kN so due to this how the influence line diagram will be generated so influence line diagram for this condition from 6 km 6 meter from the uh, from left support okay here so diagram for this is always remember one thing at particular point if this can if the condition like this the load is in a downward direction so your load will be deflect in downward direction by a by ln where l is a 15 okay so what i told you the due to this load your diagram of your influence line will be deflect downward at a distance of a by l and which is minus one okay so due to this load okay let me just draw properly so you can get to know properly okay so due to this load your diagram will be deflect like this and this deflection this deflection is will be the a by l okay and the due to this point the upward direction will be at a b side is b by l okay this is b by l okay now remember one thing the downward direction always in negative and upward direction always in positive okay so this is my a equals to 6 meter this is my b is equals to 9 meter so my a by l nothing but equals to my a by l nothing but equals to how much 6 by 15 6 is what this a and l is what 15 so 6 by 15 is i am getting 0.4 mid 0.4 okay and b by l I am getting as a b is a 9 meter okay divide by 15 so 9 by 15 is what 0.6 okay so 0.4 and 0.6 is nothing but as a 1 okay and your load is going downward direction from the single point from the 6 meter of the support okay from here it is a 80 kilometer okay and here as a 80 kilometer okay so what I did whenever you are whenever they told you to determine the shear force just select the point after selection of the point just first identify where is a loading is located and just separate it by l and b a and b if it is in a point load okay and after that when there is only single loading okay here is only single loading that's why we separate this girder in a and b okay where there is a multiple loading then condition might be different okay so due to this condition our uh, our this particular span is deflecting downward okay and the remaining span is deflecting upward direction due to this this type of condition may arises okay so so now after that you calculate the deflection a by l and b by l are the deflection so a by l is nothing but equals to 0.4 okay and b by l is 0 0.6 so 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 is a deflection we have now it is important to identify what is a negative shear force and what is a positive shear force because here we are identifying the negative shear force and positive shear force okay both the shear forces calculation is very important okay so how we can do this so negative shear force is calculated by the formula what is your load multiply by 
this value a by l okay because it is in downward direction so 80 multiply by 0.4 so it is 32 kilo newton remember and the another thing is positive shear force is 80 into the load this is a load okay multiply by b by l because it is positive direction so 80 into 0.6 so it is the 48 kilonewton okay so you have the shear force at 6 meter from the left as a negative is a 32 kilonewton and positive at a 48 kilonewton now our next is to identify the bending moment at 6 meter from the left for a bending moment the value always change okay there is a different condition for a bending moment let me draw first okay so you can get to know properly now our our scenario is same okay what you need to do you need to do is only the change in a formula okay so formula and the diagram is changed so for a bending moment diagram will be like this this is your loading direction okay to downward direction so it is like this Okay, this is what your direction, your load is going downward direction 80 kN. So at this point, C point may generated A and B is already there. Okay, this is what A is equals to 6 meter and B is equals to 9 meter. Right, so now here, here this point which is a maximum, this point is, is called as a maximum bending moment. Okay, or bending moment at section, bending moment at section c okay which is already 6 meter from the line why 6 meter because they noted they, they listed that they want bending moment from the 6 meter from the left direction okay that's why we are considering the bending moment here so formula for this particular point is bending moment at point c is equals to the formula is a multiplied by l minus of a divided by l okay divided by l okay so formula is very simple a which is this one minus l is what 15 meter minus of a divided by l l minus a is nothing but b okay remember this thing l minus a is nothing but this this particular distance is l minus of a nothing but equals to b okay so you can simply write l multiply by b divided by l okay so we are getting a, a is equals to 6 multiply by l is 15 minus of 6 divided by 15 okay so you will get the value as a 3.6 now the remember one thing this is what we are getting 1.1 value okay now we are use this value to determine the maximum bending moment at point c maximum bending moment at point c is nothing but equal so is given by the formula whatever your load okay multiply this value 3.6 3.6 we calculated right so when we multiply 80 which is load multiply by 3.6 you will get a value of 288 kilo newton into meter so this is your maximum bending moment okay so we calculate the maximum bending moment we calculate the shear force we calculate the maximum reaction so guys if you like my video please do subscribe my channel this is my new channel please please join the whatsapp group and please give me the topics so i can prepare a video for that thank you guys have a nice day bye bye